Hello everyone, this is Ashish and today we are going to discuss what are the five various ways of getting into Indian Space Research Organization. This video is going to be important for each and every range of students starting from a person who is in 8th standard to a person who has already completed his or her PhD because I am going to tell you all the various ways of applying for ISRO and getting selected over there as a scientist. So we are obviously going to talk right now for scientist posts only. So we are going to start from senior secondary. I'm pretty sure that you will be knowing about one or two of the ways in, of getting into ISRO. Maybe you are knowing none, but everyone will be knowing at least one way new over here of how to get into ISRO. Starting with senior secondary, you can get into Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology that is IIST. Previously, they used to organize their own examination for admissions over there. Now they get students through IITJE and not only mains but you have to clear advanced examination too. There are basically three different branches over there. Number one is the aerospace engineering. Second one used to be avionics. Now it is electronics and communication only. And the third one is physics. So physics is a dual degree course over there. Now you can get into any one of them and if you maintain to have a good percentage of above 70 then you will definitely get a spot into ISRO. To be honest this uh, criteria has changed multiple times but right now this is the situation. So you can perform very good in IIT and get into IST or you can perform good in IIT and obviously get into IIT or ISC. Now these are other ways. You can get into IST and you can maintain a very good CGPA and definitely get recruited into ISRO but keep in mind there will be a bond amount of uh, it is lasting for three years and there is a bond amount for good reason because your education will be completely free in IST. If you do not maintain that much of percentage which is required for you to get into ISRO then you will have to pay the tuition fees for which you are getting that degree after four years and you are not going to get a job. If you get a job, you sign a bond and then you stay over there at least for three years. Pretty fair, right? Your education was free. You're getting a job. Obviously, they'll expect a bond. If you get into IIT, in most of the top IITs, ISRO comes for recruitment and from every branch, they take somewhere around four to five people. They recruit it from there also. But they do not have any bond amount for obvious reasons that they paid the fees in IIT and they can get into ISRO and this is the earliest you can get over there like 21 or 22 years old you get into ISRO as a scientist C okay so these are good ways of getting into ISRO for people who are not even like appeared for 12 standard examinations yet you can think of these ways if you are very enthusiastic if you are very much enthusiastic and you are certain that I want to get into ISRO only then IST is a better place because it is going to give you more chances the probability of you getting into IS, uh, I, ISRO, sorry, ISRO is much higher over there. But IIT is going to be giving you much more opportunities in other fields and ISRO is going to be one of them. So it completely depends on you which one you want. The second one would be for people who did not get into IITs, even people who are in NITs or even good government colleges, good colleges in general, but could not get into, get into IIT or IST and I was one of them, for them there is ICRB that is ISRO Central Recruitment Board and it is a central organization that is rec uh, doing these examination. Three major fields are mechanical engineering, electronics and communication and computer science but there are others also like civil engineering, RAC, um, this architecture also, chemical engineering also, uh, metallurgy also, metallurgy people can appear in mechanical engineering, aerospace people can appear in mechanical engineering. So you can go through the eligibility criteria on ISRO's website, I'll link it down in the description box. So that is the thing. But there are other branches also, for example, chemical engineering, a lot of times it will not be on ISRO's website, central website, but it will be on your centers for example SHAR is a different center of ISRO, LPSC is a different center of ISRO, VSSC, IPRC, SAC, URSC these will also uh, publish their own recruitments for their own center so you are appearing for that center when it comes to ICRB you are appearing for ISRO and once selected you will be given any particular center regardless of how you perform it does not matter what is your rank you will not get a choice which is different in IST. The toppers in IST will select 
a lot like BRC training school that a top person gets more options but even there they will be uh, selecting the center but not the department not the exact department but pretty fair over there icrb people do not get any choice does not matter what they get as a rank they will be sent to the center according to the recruitment or uh, sorry according to the requirement okay uh, another thing i want to highlight is for ist people the topper of every branch goes to caltech for one year masters in space science and technology and then that person returns over there joins probably one of the best departments of isro pure research job kind of profile as far as what i've seen so far it is a very good position but yes the bond amount increases for obvious reasons okay so we have talked so far about icrb by the way about icrb i've made a lot of videos down below in the description box you'll find a playlist named isro and you can just go on and see how you can get selected for icr because i also got selected in that also only i was all india rank four if you do not know if you know let's move forward the third way would be your m tech okay so not really the third way the third way would be the various center ways so mechanical engineering post can be in icrb also or mechanical engineering recruitment can be from a separate center also for example ursc wants two mechanical engineers this year or something like that from vssc or lpsc so those center based recruitment now you have to be active on their center's website so there will be a isro central website and there will be center websites it's like vssc will be having its own website so go over there go to the career space and you you can be updated over there so that would be your third way the fourth way would be after mtech or even ms or even ms from abroad what you can do is that you can be active on their website know whenever their requirement is for people who are specialized in a particular area for example masters in aerospace engineering masters in thermal engineering masters in design engineering or masters in vlsi like that if that is the requirement you apply over there you do not have to crack any written test right now you do not have to crack um even icrb examination you get over there if they want you if your um, um, cv and all matches their requirement they are going to directly call you for interview you perform well in interview and you will get selected over there right so these are all good ways and a thing that i want to tell you for people who are getting into isro with masters they'll get the first promotion in just two years people who are getting a scientist c after icrb uh, btech people uh, graduate people they will be turning into scientist d from scientist c at what position they join in four years okay so they get a little bit advantage for their extra education because two years they were doing masters okay now get, let us come to the fifth one that is phd so you get into isro through phd also and by the way there's no age limit once you have done phd because obviously they know that phd takes a lot of time and you might be having some experience also so it takes time okay so once you have done phd what you do is that you send your cv whatever work whatever thesis you have you mail it to them you can find some of the professors who are working in the area that you have also worked in and if they like they are again directly going to call you for an interview they are satisfied they are going to give you not scientist c but scientist d post okay so that is one level above the promotion of isro goes like this scientist c d e f g like that okay so if you are already a phd you can directly jump over there for a year but all of this depends on you being active on isro website and seeing whenever there is the next notification so guys i think that i was able to clear most of your doubts these are the five various ways of how you get into isro by the way an hr person actually told us all about these ways that these are the ways that we recruit back when i was under training in isro back in my isro days okay so if you have any more questions you can put it down in the com comment section i'll be more than happy to answer each and every comment that you put over there other than that um live on instagram weekly you can join me over there for a face-to-face -face interaction if you want that and i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye thanks for watching see you next time that's it we've been shooting video for a long time now have got it down to a new extent i'm going to flip the screen up and I'm going to put it aside so that i see everything okay so here's the thing yeah that's my camera that i bought when did i buy it again november 
Like six months ago. Should look professional. Now, the topic of discussion today is going to be five ways to get into ISRO. One of those ways I utilized a lot 